WFY was probably one of the, as far as big cities go, one of the, the latest public television stations to get started. A long time ago, as the city was starting to look at itself to become a major city, and we all know at one time there wasn't a very big downtown and everybody knew of Indianapolis as Indiano place. And the kids didn't have Sesame Street. The station started with outreach. There was um, a team many years ago who was trying to buy the license for the station. And in the end, a woman named Ardeth Burkhart stepped up to the plate. She got a group of volunteers together that were later um, referred to as Ardeth's Army, and they went door to door around Indianapolis and other areas of central Indiana, um, raising funds to bring um, WFYI Channel 20 here to Indianapolis. They basically went door to door um, talking to people about the idea of public television, television that was focused on, you know, fa the family uh, and education. So it wasn't, you know, a bunch of fat cats somewhere just, you know, deciding what we wanted to see. It was, it was us. Ardeth Burkhart just decided one day that we should have a public television station here. And we'd never had that before. And so she literally started a grassroots campaign, got together tons and tons of volunteers, and between her resources and her volunteers, she just kind of created WFYI. What motivated her was that there was a new show on television called Sesame Street, and she thought it was important that children in central Indiana should have access to that. What happened over the years then is that it, it grew from a, a very small, um, you know, bootstrap type of operation into an operation that uh, that still understands and um, uh, you know respects the, the the roots of where where we came from. Public broadcasting can and should be the convener in a community. It's really hard to imagine what Indianapolis and Central Indiana would be like without WFYI because we've been here for so long. Wow, I can't even think about what that would be like. One of our core missions is to amplify the voice of the community. And so uh, we uh, do that in a, in a number of different ways. We're, we're able to tell stories that hardly anybody else tells. You know, one of the things we really want to do is, is let the people know that we're here for them. You know, we're, we're not a big, you know, commercial station. We are a nonprofit organization trying to make a difference in the city. The way WFY helps the community is not only with our television and radio programming, but we do outreach programs. We have, we get into schools, we help people read, we work int intimately with United Way. Um, but we have programs every year that, that appeal to a mass audience. Our mission is lifelong learning, so we want to make sure that even after you're out of school that there are learning opportunities, and we provide learning opportunities through our TV and radio programming as well as an outreach program. Outreach is about figuring out strategies that the lessons in public broadcasting are not lost the minute somebody turns off one of the boxes. It's important because one of the skills of a democracy is dialogue and civil conversation, and that's part of what we give people the opportunity to do. We, we really make it our mission to, to do more than what you would think a television station would be doing. It's, it's only, you know, we're considered a charity. It's a nonprofit organization. There are numerous families and people in the community that either can't afford to have cable or they, they just can't afford to have cable, things like that. So we actually, we provide the service for those who can't, you know, who can't get cable, who can't subscribe to things like that and don't have the funds to do that. WFYI does a lot of different things. We have a communications department that um, uh, handles uh, things like the, um, uh, the members magazine. It, it, uh, they handle uh, external relations with, uh, with other media organizations. Uh, we also have a development uh, staff here in the development department that um, uh, works in a couple of different areas, from corporate underwriting to membership to, um, to some of the uh, foundation fundraising. We have a program called IRIS. Um, IRIS is a, it's a service where you know, we bring in volunteers to read the newspaper, the popular magazines, even books, over a private radio channel for people that are you know, visually impaired who can't read uh, or in the process of, of dealing with their disability to, you know, so, they, so that they can enjoy the same things that we can. You know. 
we of course have a radio station as well. And uh, it's, it's probably one of the big success stories of WFYI over the last uh, decade or two. Uh, it, 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 it's experienced a real rapid growth and, uh, and financial stability. We try to be in our community as much as possible. We have uh, a learning services slash outreach uh, department that uh, takes the content that's de developed for, uh, for broadcasts, both for national and local broadcasts, sometimes on radio, sometimes on TV, and engages the community in, in a variety of ways. Um, and then we have, of course, IT and engineering, uh, uh, you know, both in radio and TV. Um, you know, we're very much a uh, technology-dependent de uh, uh, organization. And, uh, and so you know, those people provide the, uh, the technical infrastructure that allow us to keep doing what we uh, do on a daily basis. WFYI has won a lot of awards for their work. Uh, we've, you know, we've won multiple SPJs and Spectrum Awards and even Emmys. We've won a lot of awards, but where we've really done well is in the regional Emmys, the Great Lakes Emmy chapters. We've kind of become Emmys R Us. It's a very neat feeling to be noted amongst all the other things that are out there. Knowing that we are having that effect on those judging makes me realize that what we're doing out in the community is meaningful, you know. So I guess the awards are pretty, you know, but it just kind of reinforces what I already know about what we're doing, which is that it's a good thing. Well, the, the television department, uh, television production department, is a, a department, of course, that's designed to produce shows for broadcast on, on Channel 20, uh, WFYI, but also uh, we, we do a lot of production for, uh, uh, for outside um, uh, organizations as well. Anything that comes in the front door is fair game, or any idea we see in the paper, or any current trend, uh, anything that's out there that we think people should know about, um, that's what we do. We want to provide quality programming, something that you can watch at any time with any member of the family. Uh, we want it to be educational, and we want it to be, you know, inspiring television. What I think PBS is, it's the conduit for the non-rating non driven show. It's the conduit for the voice that doesn't get heard. We have three digital stations. We have the, the main WFYI, which is 20.1. 20.2 is Veme, which is a Spanish-speaking station. And 20.3 is something called Create, which is all stuff for home. Um, I keep trying to get them to get involved here, saying PBS was the original food network. I'd say almost every single day I come to work, I learn something new because of what we're doing. You know, what we're trying to do is educate people through our program. And in turn, it's educating me. Now, one of the things I think it, uh, that might be a little bit unique of, about us is I think the level of uh, graphic sophistication that, uh, that some of our productions have. Uh, that, uh, that there's not a single super that we take for granted or just slap on. Um, uh, almost everything we, we, we do graphically is integrated as a part of the entire production. What we do is, is take a step back from you know, the fast-paced life, I guess, and really dive into the stories behind the people and, and really try and tell a meaningful story in a family-friendly way. And in many senses, there's, there's a lot of creative freedom and also, in many senses, it's old-style journalism that you get to do here. You get to actually tell stories that make a difference and that matter. We find that we, we can um, provide quality uh, production uh, services that become, you know, it's not just a broadcast. The broadcast will come and the broadcast will go. But it becomes something of, of, of a living legacy uh, for, uh, for these organizations to tell their story to the rest of the community. The environment of WFYI is, is a very nurturing environment. It's unlike any place I've ever been before, that everybody is celebratory of other people's accomplishments. Uh, what, we, what we try to do is, is create a, uh, as, as friendly and creative an environment as we can, uh, because we know that uh, if we're doing our job right, we, we stay busy a lot. And uh, at the same time, when, you, when you're doing that, uh, you want to you know, create an environment that the people who are very creative are allowed to be creative. Just knowing that, you know, yes, I do have to kind of come to the same place every day. I come to the station, but then I launch from here to who knows where. You know, and there are days where like 12 hours will go by in a day and I'll just be like, Psh. I had no idea it was like 8 o'clock right now. I mean, I've been having fun. 
I'm like, I'm, I've got a cubicle, but I'm hardly ever in it. You know, it's just like this place where I store comic books. This is a, it's almost like a seaside type thing where you get to relax. You still get to do your thing and you do it to the highest caliber, but it's nice. Our TV programming and our radio programming, there is absolutely something for everyone. Um, we have very educational, interesting, we have all kinds of, just the programming that we have itself is amazing. This is a great place to give back to your community and also learn something while you're doing it. We're now sitting in the Ardeth Y. Burkhart Volunteer Center and it's so, such a good feeling and so rewarding to be able to honor her in this wonderful space. Outreach is fun because it does give me a, a, an open basket to gather people into it. Without volunteers and interns, we would not be able to even operate. I can, I can pretty much guarantee that. I don't know where, where we find these people, but God bless them. In the production department, uh, we, uh, we love interns and volunteers. They're, they're very much an extension of our production family here and, and, and very vital uh, a, a link. Uh, it helps us get done all the things that need to get done. The interns here get involved in productions. They, they are out intimately involved being part of a, a crew. Some of them have gone on and done little projects that uh, I walk away from seeing sometimes and go, wow. I mean, we're bringing in these fresh minds, these people who are really motivated to do something. You know, over time, sometimes it's almost an inspiration to see someone come in and want to do something and, and have so much passion behind it. When we have a creative individual come in that says, you know, hey, what, I want to put the, I want to put the jib on the dolly, and then I want to dolly and jib at the same time, we're like, awesome. For us, the best work happens um, when we can give people the tools they need to do the best work. I think they get something out of it too, though. I mean, when it comes down to it, it feels good to help people. And I know that by volunteering here at WFY, you do get to help people directly in a lot of ways. And, you know, plus you get to be on TV sometimes if, you're, if you wander into the wrong room. Um, to volunteer, we ask people to go online to WFYI.org and go under the support section of our website and you'll be able to fill out a volunteer interest form. That way we have an idea of how to best place you because we have so many different volunteer opportunities. People are interested in different things. So we ask you to start through the website, but you're also welcome to call me and I'd be happy to talk through that process. A very little about of our money comes from the government. It all comes from people who support the station. So that, that's, a, that's a necessity in this. If it wasn't for the community and individual, you know, grants and things like that, we would not be able to exist at all. You, the, people, the, the community, they own us. <laughs> we wouldn't know what to do without them. We wouldn't, we, we wouldn't be here at all.